Hello, everyone. Welcome back to yet another commitment episode of Bermanology on Letterman Row. I'm your host, Jeremy Birmingham. Uh, the recruiting dead period has been anything but that for Ohio State in these last few days. And what I think is the end of at least this little push uh, ends with the commitment Tuesday morning of Andre Turrentine from Nashville, Tennessee, Ensworth High School. Andre, thank you very much uh, for taking some time. I know that this has to be uh, kind of a whirlwind. You've you've gone from a guy that two days ago, I don't think any Buckeyes fans in the world were really talking about or thinking that you were going to commit. And then here you are, commitment number 14, the third defensive back in three days. Why Ohio State? Uh, it's a it's a wonderful place. And I think it fits everything I'm looking for in a program. Uh, I have a really good relationship with the coaches, Coach Combs and uh, Coach Alfred, Coach Barnes. I saw the coach Dave probably, uh, quite a bit. So it's, it's everything I'm looking for in the program. And they have exactly what I need to win a championship and prepare me for the next level. You've been to campus one time. That was in November, correct? Yes. What did you see that day? And did you know then that, hey, this might be the place for me? Or was that kind of like, uh, did that just happen more in the last month or two? So when I went up there, it was a wonderful place, wonderful uh, atmosphere. With them playing uh, Penn State, a big rivalry game. And um, going up there was, I didn't expect to for, to fall in love with the place like I did. And I went up there and I liked everything about the place. I liked how the people were. I liked how they treated me and my family. Um, I like just like how everything was like a brotherhood and everything was, it felt like family up there. Why now? I mean, what it, what is it about this uh this coronavirus scare, I guess, is there anything to do with that? I mean, what what made you say, like, you know what, now's the time? Uh, I don't think it had anything to do with that. Uh, I've, I've been thinking about this decision for a long time, probably since, since I left campus. Um, I knew Ohio State was most likely going to be the place. I just didn't know when. And um, it's been growing on me in the past month. And I feel like right now is it's the best decision for me to make at the time. Was it? Was there a moment when Jeff Halfley left in, in December? Was there a moment where you were like, "Oh, I don't know what's going to happen right now"? And and how how I guess happy were you or optimistic were you when you heard it was going to be Kerry Combs taking over, uh, a guy that I'm sure you maybe you watched a, a, in Nashville as a as, as a coach of the Tennessee Titans. Um. So when I saw Halfley was leaving, I was I was kind of wondering what they were, how they were going to go with that position and. Uh, I talked to Coach Alfred every day and Coach Barnes, and they assured me that the person they had come and step in that I was going to love. So I, I trusted them in that process, and they, they stuck with me. And as um, soon as he came into position, he, he came to see me and let me know that he was really, really serious about this thing. And, and I let him know that I was serious about it, too. We started developing that relationship, and it was, it was wonderful that someone so close, I guess, in being the coach of Nash, uh Tennessee Titans, that he would take over at Ohio State. As a kid in Tennessee, obviously the volunteers are, are building a program there that they're trying to get back on top. How hard was the decision to to say, hey, I'm going to leave home? Um, Not that I hard? I was on that team. Yep. And I had some really, really close friends on that team. Um, one, of, one of my close two friends, Tyler Barron and Keyshawn Lawrence, uh, they both – came from Israel, came went to my school and they're both going to UT and that they they know that they're building something special and I believe that they're building something special too and it's only a matter of about two two years or so, two or three years, and they'll be right back where they need to be. Um I know that I could have been a part of that, but I feel like that situation is not the best situation for me. And I feel like Ohio State is is a better fit for me and my family. When it comes to Coach Combs and, and the guys that he's helped put into the NFL and develop in his time at Ohio State, how much impact did that have in in getting to know him quickly and, and getting to trust what his plan is for you? Uh, so knowing that his track record of putting guys in the NFL and not just putting guys there, but putting guys in the first round and guys that are making impacts in the NFL, making big, big impacts, um, it was it was it made me happy to know that I'm I'm working with a guy like that and it made me um 
it made me more optimistic about the situation. It just made me want to go like even more, and it made it put he uh, he pushed me to be myself and and to work hard. So I'm happy to be around a guy like that, as well as a guy that has put that many people in uh, in the league and has been that successful. Watching your highlight tape, uh, it appears you are quite comfortable hitting people. Uh, it seems like that's <laughs> something that you like to do. Um, does Ohio State, have they been able to tell you where they see you in the defense? I know that there might be some talk of safety, some talk of playing corner. I've heard Von Bell comparisons from from people that I talk to. How do you see yourself developing into the, the Buckeye defense? So... Um... Early on recruiting me, Coach Alfred told me when Halford was still there that they kind of saw me as a, a Von Bell comparison, and I, I'm sure you've heard that as well. And yeah. That I can play multiple places in the defense. Um, they said that I came in and I would play cover safety and um, that they can move me to some corner as well so I can play all around the secondary. They said it really depends on me and how fast I uh, – yeah. how fast, how well I take the system in and how well I fit into it. What guys, when you were in Columbus in November, did you have a chance to talk to about Ohio State? Who really kind of gave you the ins and outs of what it's like to be in the program? So um, I haven't really talked much about people, t- talked much about the program with so many people, but I know Master Teague a little bit. Um, he went to Blackman in, in Murfreesboro, where I live still. So... Um, I talked to him a little bit. I talked to JK a few. Um, I talked to Sean Wade uh, for about five minutes about the program and about how he's dealing with everything and how he's where he sees himself in the program and how the program has helped him and his family. Uh, I talked to Jeff Akuda for about forty five seconds after their their win over Penn State, and he's just saying that it's a it's a wonderful place and it's it's a process if you buy into the process that you're going to be where you want to be. And I love that about the place. You, you mentioned Tyler Barron earlier, who obviously didn't pick Ohio State at, for a number yes. of reasons. His father on the coaching staff there at, at Tennessee. He visited Ohio State a couple times. Yes. Was What kind of feedback did he give you? I, mean, I, I know you guys have to talk about, hey, this place was like this, this place was like this. Yeah, uh, Tyler Barron. Tyler, uh, I actually talked to Tyler a few days ago, and we were talking about school and stuff, and um, – he said that he loved Ohio State, and he said that that was either he was going to go there or uh, Tennessee. And I think why he didn't tell me exactly why he chose Tennessee over the determining factor, but I think it had a lot to do with his ties there in Tennessee and how he fits into there as he's already a part of their family and everything, with his dad being the coach and stuff like that. Are there any guys in the recruiting class? I mean, I know that there's, there's always – uh, relationships that are formed on visits and that kind of stuff. Are there any guys that are in the current Ohio State class or or other prospects around the country that you feel like you've gotten close to that helped you get here? Or or who have you been bouncing this off of? Because, again, you've been pretty quiet. And nobody really had any idea this was coming until uh, Sunday night. So, like, who, where did where did this love of Ohio State come from? Is it just the visit or is it, like, the bonds with the guys that you've talked to, Coach Alfred, et cetera? Uh, I think it's the the relationship I have with the coaching staff there. I haven't talked to really many of the guys who um, I haven't talked to really many of the guys who are committed there. Uh, hopefully, that I know that relationship is going to progress, and I'm going to get to know a lot of the guys when we're up there. We're going to start bonding as a as a class. But I think it's really just my relationship with the coaches and how Ohio State felt to me when I went up there and how I've been thinking about it, comparing my options and what I want to do. Let me ask you this, Dre, and this is a in, you know just a out-there question, I guess. As a recruit, now I've gone through this process, and I, I mean Ohio State offered you over a year ago. The process kind of started for you almost two years ago now with other schools around the country. What's the biggest misconception about the recruiting process from a, from a teenager's point of view, from a guy going through it? What, what do you think people don't understand about it? Mm. Uh, for, from a guy who's who I've been getting offers since I was in eighth grade, um, I think what a lot of guys struggle with is is that they don't understand that 
recruiting is different for everyone and they compare themselves based upon how other other people are being recruited and as you can see as as kids develop in college and become players with they've had no stars and they've only had a few offers going in college now they're the, their first round draft picks i think that kids that kids that are not getting recruited as hard early and are or not going to the schools that they want to go to or getting looks from the schools they want to get to at a, a certain point in time that kids give up and start to i don't know i don't want to say place themselves in like a category not thinking that they're good enough or like they think that they're being slept on when it's i think that coaches are watching more than you think they are right and i think kids don't understand that and i think that they compare themselves too much to other people in their own recruiting process. 2018 Ohio State signed Master Teague. 2019 Ohio State signed uh, Max Ray and Mitch Rossi. 2020 Ohio State signed Cormonte Hamilton, not from Nashville, but close enough. I know Cormonte. He was on my 7017. What is it? Who's? I asked this of J.K. Johnson uh, when he committed from St. Louis the other day. Because St. Louis is an area that the Buckeyes have done pretty well the last handful of years. Yeah. Who's the next guy? Who's the next guy that that Buckeyes fans need to know in Nashville that that you're like, okay, that's the guy I'm going to get there? Uh, hmm. I think that uh, I think that if people don't know his name, Jordan James, he's a he's a problem. He's a running back out of. He went to BA last year. Um, I think he'll be attending Oakland this year. Um, he's he's a problem. He's gonna be a problem, and he's he's been on Buckeyes radar. They they've offered him his, and he's he's like the uh, he liked it. He's been up there, I think once, and I think that he's talked to me about the school enough times that for him for me to know that he's he's genuinely interested in. I think that he'll be a name that'll come up. Now that you are committed, you've made your announcement on Twitter. Social media knows about it. How different do you think your life's going to be now that not only are you committed, but you're committed to Ohio State, one of the three best programs in the country? Do you think that yes. life is going to be easier or harder? I think that, well, I think that life is what you make of it. And I feel like you're only, only the only pressure that will be put on you is the, is the amount of pressure that you allow to be put on yourself. So I don't feel any pressure about it. Uh, I've been asked where are you going to school, where are you going to school every day for the past three years. So I think that it'll help me with in that sense that I'm I can be completely focused on my goal and not have to worry about where I'm going to school twenty four seven. Just get a T shirt that says I'm going to Ohio State, you can leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. I can worry about getting to where I want to I can fully worry about getting to where I want to be when I'm there and getting to the next level. I can focus on that now. Do you think about the possibility of enrolling early yet, or is that still too far away to even consider? With my school situation is I'm not allowed to graduate early, um, but I, I am th still thinking about it, but I think it's too still too early to decide. Got it. It and would so, require a pretty significant move for you. Yeah. that. Would, I mean, yeah, I guess so. Like, like switching schools or whatever. But, hey, you never know. That's right. See, think about the bright side. Maybe maybe, maybe they'll loosen up some of those uh, requirements. Yeah. Hey, Andre, I appreciate it so much, man. Congratulations on your decision. Thanks for joining us Thanks. on Letterman Row. Uh, that is Andre Turrentine. I'm Jeremy Birmingham. This has been Bermanology. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll catch you next time. Maybe in the next few days. Who knows? Ohio State's on a roll. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We've got Letterman Live, we've got the practice report, we got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buck IQ with Zach Bourne. For sure. We got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. We got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State Athletics, we've got you covered here at Letterman Row.